Hey everyone, there was news this past week in America when that old problem of racism managed to escape from its containment cell in Mel Gibson's house and make it all the way across the country to Virginia with a flashpoint of violence in Charlottesville, which is a small university town up in the Blue Ridge Mountains, ironically in one of the few parts of Virginia where there wasn't even any fighting during the actual US Civil War. It was always liable to turn violent and surprise surprise it did and then President Trump decided to troll everybody by saying that everyone was equally to blame and implied that when the KKK make questionable scientific claims there's some kind of moral equivalent with the lying mainstream media. The rise of social bubbles and selective internet news doesn't really help either, but that's an age-old problem. After all, in 1863 it was Abraham Lincoln himself who said, don't trust quotes you read on the internet. Sure, protests always attract a violent element, uh, just look at the unspeakable violence you get when mime artists go on parade. And at the same time, most people know that the US is a deeply divided country on many subjects, and that diversity of opinion often works in its favour. But we also kind of assume that nowadays the more extreme elements of the white supremacy movement listen to their own advice and, what's that, you know, kept themselves to themselves. You know, back in the 1860s, the US Civil War was an actual legitimate war with loads of guns and everything to finally settle the issue once and for all. And then a century later, of course, the US realised they should probably pass some laws to really clear up the apparent misunderstanding over who'd won that war. You know, sometimes we don't like what's in the history books. Just ask David Cameron about the thing with a pig. But sometimes we should actually probably focus on the bad stuff so we can teach its lessons properly. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.